Hi everyone, so I've had heaps of questions about how I clean up around my cuticles and request to make a detailed video all about that, so that's what I'm doing today. Let me know if you like this video by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so in case you don't know, what I mean by cleaning up your cuticles is removing all the polish that's got onto your skin um, and around the cuticle area which can make it peel easily and go all gross, so that's what that's about. So I'm just painting my nails now, really, really roughly. Oh no, look, there's polish on my skin. How did that happen? We'll have to clean it up. By the way, I have got a video all about how to paint your nails nicely, and that's a huge part of cleanup. If you haven't got much to clean up, it'll be much quicker. So I will link to that down below. Okay, so I'm just letting that dry for a bit. As you can see, there's a bit of a mess all around my nails, and I've got it right into my cuticles as well. In case you don't know, never paint your nails right to the very edge of your cuticles because this will mean it can peel easier and chip and it's just messy and gross. Um, yeah, just don't do it. I'll talk more about that soon, but these are some of the brushes that you can use for cleanup. You can actually use quite a variety, but um, these are the ones I tend to use. Just make sure your brush isn't too thick. Um, I particularly like this angled one you can see on the right. It's just perfect for me. I'll link to where you can buy them down below. Alright, so to start clean up, pour some of your nail polish remover or acetone into a little lid, probably the lid of the bottle. This is better than dipping a brush into the whole bottle because the bottle will get all gross and bitsy and yuck. So separate it out each time and then soak up the excess with a tissue. You'll also want a tissue nearby for this because we're going to use a tissue to wipe your brush on to clean it in between um, swipes around the nail, I guess you could say. Dip your brush in the acetone or nail polish remover and wipe it on the tissue a few times to make sure it's nice and clean. Then dip it in again, make sure there's not too much on the brush, you might want to wipe it once or twice, and then start cleaning up. The goal is to take all the nail polish off the skin and to leave a tiny little line around the outside of the cuticle. I should also add that if you have made quite a lot of mess around your cuticles, like if you've been doing water marbling, or if you're just not that great at painting your nails yet, um, you can use a cotton wool bud and dip it in the acetone first and clean up the biggest parts first with that. I used to do it that way when I first started but as I've got better I don't make as much mess and therefore there's no real need for the cotton bud. But I thought I'd add it in as a note anyway. So just keep carefully cleaning around your cuticles and wiping your brush every now and again to make sure it's not got lots of old gross stuff on it. Um, it'll get a bit stained if it's a darker colour. But again just use nail polish remover and wipe it off. I've actually got another video coming soon all about how to clean your brushes, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, so that middle nail is looking a lot better now. Um, really focus on getting the curve of the cuticle. You don't want to get it all jagged and gross. I get lazy sometimes and don't. Like, my nails aren't the prettiest in the world. I'm a bit lazy of cleanup sometimes. But it really does make a difference, especially in photos. So as you can see here, I'm just smoothing off this really nice um, curve at the end of my nail and there's barely any gap between the cuticle and the polish and that's what you want. Don't forget the side walls and underneath your fingertips, sometimes polish can hide behind there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's how my tissue looked afterwards by the way, it's really messy. Um, and I'll just quickly show you how I wipe off my brush. So as you can see, wipe one side then the other, don't smush it down because that'll ruin the bristles and the shape. And this is how the nails looked after they were all cleaned up. This really does help prolong the life of your manicure because it won't chip and peel as easy. Um, I hope you found this useful and if you did, please subscribe and thumbs up. And I will see you next time.